Hey what's up guys, Ayush here and I'm back here with another episode of Awesome Tech Accessories. Do check out our previous episodes where you'll find some interesting stuffs. And now without any further ado, let's begin. Now first up we have Power Bank from Rav Power. If you need a lot of portable power and have several devices to keep charged up, RAV Power, a 22,000 mAh external battery pack is an incredibly affordable solution. For starters, it offers a 3 USB port with a maximum current output of 2.4 amps per port. Now this means your devices charge significantly faster than other conventional chargers. And furthermore, the inbuilt iSmart technology automatically adjusts current and voltage to minimize charging time and maximize performance. The larger battery inside does require about 10 to 11 hours to fully charge. Better still, it supports pass-through charging which means you can simultaneously refill the power bank and charge other devices as well. On the exterior, the build itself is quite steady with smooth corners. The LED indicators show how much power remains in the bank and they are bundled with two flat micro USB cables with a handy carry case to keep it all together. But this one is on a little heavier side, so you might want to carry it in a bag rather than in a pocket. All in all, a great family power bank for the price it comes in. Now next up we have charging docks. Well docks are pretty handy for using your smartphones and tablets on a desk setup. And this time we have charging docks from Native Union. Native Union provides some great accessories for Apple products that are aesthetically pleasing. And this dock is no different either. As for the looks, the minimalistic design with that blue and gold color combination looks simply awesome. The gold aluminum backplate serves as a stabilizing factor that ensures a secure fit. The base of the dock is made of silicon and is weighed so that your device doesn't tip over. With the provided adapters, you can easily plug in the iPhones with the case and larger iPads without an issue. However, this dock does not come pre-equipped with a charging cable, but the beauty of this design is that you don't have to use a proprietary cable for that matter. On the contrary, Native Union does have its belt lightning cable to work with its dock. It's flexible premium corded cable which is 4 feet long that does not tangle easily. The nice thing about the belt cable is that it comes equipped with a leather cable tie so that you can manage excess cable between the dock and the outlet. Overall, it's a great piece of dock by Native Union that adds to your overall setup. Now next we have Bluetooth Beanie from Tenergy. Combining winter hat with the built-in wireless headphones sounds like a pretty unique idea. But on the chilly mornings when you can't keep yourself from listening to music, avoiding those tangling and messy wires, this beanie can be a perfect choice for you. Well, the beanie is light and the material inside feels very soft as well. It's warm and comfortable to wear and yes, you can easily pair your smartphones via Bluetooth. The speakers are embedded within the hat's fabric and surprisingly the music listening experience is quite good. The sound is clear with nice highs and it can get very loud too. As weird as this sounds, you need to charge the beanie through a micro USB cable which will give you around 5 to 7 hours of listening time. And if you don't want to listen to music, you can use it as any other regular beanie. Additionally, if you want the same experience while running or exercising, Tenergy also offers headbands that pretty much provides the same features as the beanie. Now next up is Tardisk Pier. Tardisk Pier is an incredibly simple way to double the storage of your MacBook. If you are running out of space but can't afford the risk of moving your files, Tardisk expands your existing MacBook drive into one unified volume without hampering your existing files. And well, the setup process is darn simple. Now all you need to do is plug it into your SD card slot and start the peering process and within a couple of reboots, you have your storage doubled. Well the good thing is that it runs at almost the same speed as the original Apple flash storage, so you don't have any issues with the read and write speeds. Now furthermore, the unibody aluminum enclosure blends perfectly with the MacBook's body and makes it durable. And even if you don't want to merge, you can use it as any other portable SD card with an additional perk of high data transfer speed. Now next up is Mixita Power Gaming Headsets. Well, Mixita has always been offering some great products at an affordable price and this one is no different either. On the contrary, gaming headsets can be quite expensive since they need to balance between looks, sound and comfortable wear. And if you're looking for ultimate gaming headsets, I have done a separate top 3 gaming headsets video which I will be linking down in the description below. Now coming back to Mixita Power, it is more of a budget friendly headset which delivers a 7.1 virtual surround sound which is a desired feature while gaming. 
With this feature, I was easily able to pinpoint explosions and footsteps. Given the price tag, it offers a surprisingly great sound output. The audio has good amount of bass, balance, mids and highs. Now another important aspect was comfortable wear, in which the headphone turned out to be pretty good as well. It has very nice fit with comfortable big AirPods enabling you to game for few hours. The looks however was quite bulkier for my taste. When powered on, the headphone did light up in blue color which was pretty cool, but the non-adjustable mic was a great hindrance while gaming. One note here guys, the headphone is USB powered so you will need a splitter to use it in your smartphone. Now keeping all this nitpicking aside, if you are looking for some budget gaming headset with awesome sound quality, Mixita Power is a great choice. Now alternatively if you are looking for a budget sport earbuds, Mixita has you covered in that department as well. Mixita Flyto comes at just under $25 and is great for running and gym. It's really light and is sweat proof so you don't have to worry about flu splashes. The fins on the earpiece creates kind of a lock and you can also have a clipping tool. Although the earpiece are quite big as this is where the battery lives, it's still comfortable to wear for hours. Now talking about the sound quality, I must say it's pretty average. Bass is flat with punchier highs and crisp lows. It's great for genres like acoustic, rock and spoken words. Also there is a kind of delay while skipping tracks and pausing. I got around 6 hours of use on full charge which is pretty good for Bluetooth earphones. So a pretty decent pair of earbuds at a budget price. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you found this video useful. All the products links are in the description. Do check them out, stay tuned for more and as always thanks for watching and you guys have a great day.